Shalom, shalom. Uh, this is the witness report. The purpose of this video um, is to reach the whole world. This is a video presentation and um, I want to use this to address the Jewish brothers, our Jewish brothers, the Hebrew Israelites in, in diaspora, and the people in Nigeria and all parts of the earth. On the Lourdes Dinner Resort of 5th August 2017 by Rabbi Benis of Jewish Voice Ministry International USA. The purpose um, of that resort is to establish Igbo Jewish origin. Please, you can reach us or reach me via scripture truth group at gmail.com. Scripture truth group at gmail.com or yhwh family at hotmail.com. I want to use this video to prove scientifically that Igbo people of Nigeria are a right clan of God, son of Jacob. In the month of February, a team of Jewish Voice Ministry International arrived in Nigeria. They came to Southeast Nigeria to collect um, 124 Igbo males saliva samples precisely on 6th and 7th February 2017 and these salivas were collected to prove Igbo Jewish origin. On 5th of August, Rabbi Benis returned to Igbo land, that is Southeast Nigeria, with three other uh, staff of Jewish Voice Ministry International. And uh, Rabbi Benis read a, lip, a report. He read a letter dated 28 July 2017 from Family Tree Laboratory USA which concluded that Igbo people do not have any connection with Jewish community because the DNA result do not compare with any current nine Jewish DNA database result as I we shown you or we seen here. Rabbi Benny says that the um, Jewish community DNA result database as follows. That is E1B G or E group, G group, J1, J2, R1, A group, R group, N group, Q group, T group. This is what uh, he submitted as uh, nine hapo group DNA for Jewish community. From this, uh, it is clear that um, Jacob and his children shouldn't have nine different DNA. They should have one hapo group DNA or have prototype DNA, not nine different uh, DNA group. So I, I'm, I, I'm gonna, uh, we are gonna look at this uh, result of Jewish Voice Ministry International and look at the uh, DNA um, database result for Jewish community and compare um, the results submitted by Rabbi Benis of Jewish Voice Ministry International and um, uh, the database, uh, genetic database for Jewish community. Mm -hmm. 
we have another source, uh, a source uh, from Israel submitted the following as DNA result for determining the Jewish or Jews and Israelites in Israel. And uh, these are the Apple group determining the Jews and Israelites in Israel. But before I show you this and before we look at this, um, it is actually the, hap the DNA result actually for Jews and Israelites. And I want to let you know who those who are Jews uh, and also those who are Israelites. Uh, the Jews are the Turks, the Sephardic, Ashkenazims, the Kazans, the Armenians, the Ingush, and the Bahrains, who now reside within the state of Israel, referred to as Israeli Jews. So it is clear that the Jews are foreigners. They are also convert to Judaism or convert to the religion of, of the Hebrew Israelite as I handed over to them by the creator of the universe, to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, and to Israelites, to the Israelite through Moses. So we look at those who are Israelite, and we see the Israelite are the 12 sons of Jacob, and their descendant called the 12 tribes of Israel, now scattered on the four corners of the earth. So the difference between the Jews and the Israelites are very clear that the Jews, these Jews are foreigners. They are either the, 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 the people from Turkey or the, the people from Bahrain, the people from Germany, the people from Russia, the people from I don't know, the Arab states surrounding Israel. Um, so these are the, the Jews. They are foreigners and convert proselyte to the religion of the Israelite. And we have the, um, the Israelite as the descendant of the 12 sons of Jacob. So when we look at these um, hapo groups determining who is a Jew and who is an Israelite, we see also uh, different haplogroups. Um, we see um, we see N, we see A group, we see B group, we see E group, we see we see the E group. Uh, we see G group, we see J group, we see R group, we see we see T group. So we we'll have this um, as. Um, determining DNA result for Jewish community. Rabbi Benny submitted on 5th of August 2017 that um, the Igbo people of Nigeria, that this is their DNA haplogroup E1A. So if we go by this, we, we've seen that uh, according to Rabbi Benny's or Jewish Voice Mr. International Stroke uh, Family Tree Resort, we've seen that the Igbo people of Nigeria, uh, according to the DNA that he submitted, that they are also part of uh, Igbo Israelite from the DNA shown here, E1A. This is what he submitted. So, but I believe that. It's not, it's not possible to have different haplogroups for one family, the family of Jacob. Uh, it's not going to be possible, but I have, I have to, I'm going to explain all that. I'm going to explain all that. So, um, we are going to look at the scientific evidence uh, that proves the Jews are not a true Israelite. And also, we're going to look, look at scientific evidence, also uh, prove that the um, Igbo people of Nigeria are the true Israelites. Um, we look at 
the Canaanites, according to the Hapo, uh, the uh, the Jewish community DNA determining result, we see J2, we see J2 there, uh, also we've seen J1, uh, we saw J2, we saw J1, we saw uh, E group, we saw R group, and J group, whether it's J1 or J2, uh, this DNA belongs to the Canaanites. The Canaanites, the Samaritans, uh, even the Samaritans, those who, who are uh, a Kohen right now in Israel, uh, including the Samaritans of the, uh, the Ashkenazim of Polish ancestral. And also we see the Hebrew is a light, we see their DNA is E1B1A. I'm going to explain all this, but I want to let you know that this um, Hapo group submitted by uh, Israel as a determining gene result for Jewish community, uh, um, it, as, um, they are very ambiguous because you see different uh, race and people who are converts to Judaism, converted the way the way of worship, the religious way of the people of Israel. We see even their, their DNA haplo groups also included in this place, like the Canaanites. I will tell you who are the Canaanites. I will tell you those who are the Samaritans and the Samaritan Kohen family too. I'm going to explain that. And also I will explain to you those who are Hebrew, Israelite. Then we go down to the next page. and The next page is who are the Canaanites. Who are the Canaanite? Uh, the Canaanite are the descendant of Ham. They were the occupant of the land of Israel with Hittite, Perizzite, Hivite, and Jebusite before he, the Hebrew Israelites reclaim it in 1294 BC. That is uh, Hebrew 2556. That means before Israelites went back to uh, this land, the land called the, the, the Canaan land, or the, or the land of, of the Philistine. Um, the Canaanites were there. They made the Canaanites there. They made the Hittite, the, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and Jebusite there. So they, they, they do not share the same um, haplotype DNA with um, this Canaanite. Who are the Samaritans? The Samaritans, as we look, um, we're going to see uh, those who are the Samaritan, as I'm explaining right to you right now. When you get back to Second um, Kings 1724, uh, from there we'll see the king of As Ashur or Assyria. He brought and uh, and, and he brought um, the, the, the Babylonians. Um, the, 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 the Kutites and um, the, the Awanians, the Hamatite and the Sepharabayim and they took possession of Samaria. These people took possession of Samaria. Samaria is the capital of northern Israel, the ancient northern Israel. Uh, Samaria was the was the, the capital. So, so um, Assyria invaded, invaded Israel then and took the Israelites to Assyria and uh, replaced the Israelites of the northern tribe or northern part of Israel with the Babylonians, the Kotites, the Awanians, the Hamatites, and the Sevavayim. Then in 2 Kings 17, 27 and 28, uh, we see that these people had problem uh, dwelling in the land of Israel, that the northern Israel. So the, the, the king of Assyria uh, had to send a priest, uh, a priest from the family. These priests were among the Israelites who were exiled from the north Israel. Uh, the priest and his family came and they dwelt in North Israel. 
and taught the people the way how to worship Yahweh, how to worship the creator of the universe, how to you know, obey him and the true worship. So these people live, lived in Israel and today they are they're still there living in Israel. So these are the Samaritans. They are, they are Babylonians and the Kutites and the Awanians, the Hamatites and the Sevavayim. So these people, it's not possible these people should share the same DNA with uh, the house of Israel that we are then in, in the southern part of Israel and those that we are exiled to Assyria. So um, we, we, we have seen it. We have seen it clearly that the Canaanites are not Israelite, the Samaritans are not Israelite, but they were converts and invaders of the land of Israel. You were convert to Judaism, convert to the religion of the Jews, or the religion of the Hebrew Israelite, and also the, uh, the, some of them were invaders of the land of Israel. We are, we are going to look at um, uh, Remy Ilona's resort. We are going to look at Professor Remy Ilona's resort and prove scientifically that uh, the Igbos of Nigeria are Hebrews alike, Jews or not. We are going to prove it uh, with this result uh, conducted on uh, Professor Remy Ilona. And from what I can show you here, the result shows that um, Professor Remy Lona's family are currently residing in Nigeria. So most of them are currently residing in Nigeria. This is Nigeria, this is more of Africa, this is Nigeria. And um, we also see that um, Professor Remy Lona's family were in Kenya. And this also so shows uh, that um, Professor Remy Lona's family were in Middle East. So what happened is that Professor Remy Lona's family were involved um, in the invasion of Syria in, in those who Assyria took captive to um, Assyria, that is the king of Assyria, or Asher, took um, a captive um, to Assyria. Remy Lona's family were among the family that went to Assyria, and in Assyria they escaped, and they passed through um, East Africa, and also passed through uh, Sudan, passed through Chad, and they get into Nigeria. So they actually move from um, Israel to As uh, the Assyria, from Assyria uh, to East Africa, and from there they went into West Africa. So this is a clear result that um, Professor Remy, uh, Remy Ilona um, is a Hebrew Israelite. And his DNA haplogroup is E1B1A. And this is the uh, haplogroup for uh, is Hebrew Israelite. So I'm going to also show you more videos. I'm going to also um, analyze more results coming. I have six results to present to you. Six results to uh, use proof scientifically that the Igbo people of Nigeria. Hebrew is a light. This is part one. Watch out for uh, part two of my video presentation. Thank you and welcome. Shalom. I remain blessed.